In central Illinois, two paramedics are charged with murdering a patient. Springfield police releasing body camera video showing the night that 35-year-old Earl Moore Jr. died. A medical examiner saying the cause of death was asphyxiation. Nick is back to explain exactly what happened. Adrian, in December, police responded to a home where there was a report of an armed person inside. Now, instead, they found Earl Moore Jr. likely hallucinating from alcohol withdrawal. Now, Peggy Finley and Peter Cadigan are now charged with first-degree murder in connection with Moore's death. Most of the body cam footage shows Moore in a bedroom, lying on a bed as police ask him, questions and encourage him to go with the paramedics. Now, Peggy Finley can be heard yelling at Moore to get up and telling Moore they're not going to carry him outside. Now, with the help of officers, Moore makes it outside where the ambulance is parked but collapses before making it all the way. At one point, Moore appears slumped over a stretcher, unable to get himself on top of it. Now, the video does not show how Moore ended up on the stretcher, but you can see him being strapped onto it by Finley and Cadigan with Moore's head facing down. Now, because of this positioning, a coroner's report says Moore died of compressional and positional asphyxia due to the prone face down restraint and the tightened straps across his back and lower body. Now, Finley and Cadigan work for a private ambulance company, which hasn't commented on Moore's death or the charges. Both Finley and Cadigan are being held on $1 million bond each and will be back in court this week. Adrian. Nick, thank you very much for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.